Good morning and welcome to the historic Basilica Cathedral of St. John the Baptist. We welcome all of you present and those joining us through live stream. We pray that you are all in good health. We ask all present to please respect the instructions given by our parish ushers and the guidelines in place to prevent the spread of COVID-19, including using hand sanitizers, maintaining a social distance of two meters, and wearing face masks at all times within the church. At the time of Holy Communion, further instructions will be given. And at the end of Mass, we ask that you please follow the usher's instructions for exiting from the church. Our presider today is Father Cecil Critch. Our gathering chant is number 476 in our CBW, Come and Journey with the Savior. Please stand. journey with the Savior who has called us from our birth, who has washed us in the waters and who loved us on the earth. Come and journey, come and journey with the Savior who has come. We are all God's sons and in the spirit we are one come and journey journey inward come and seek him deep within where he meets us in our living in our striving and our sin come and journey come and journey Savior who has come. We are all God's sons and daughters in the Spirit. We are one. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning. Good morning, Father. Nice to have everyone here today. And uh, as we begin a new week here at the Basilica, we call to mind our sins today. We call to mind the times we have failed to be merciful and compassionate to others. And we ask the Lord's forgiveness today. <clears throat> you were sent to hear the contrite of heart. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. You came to call sinners. Christ Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, increase our faith, hope, and charity, and make us love what you command, so that we may merit what you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen.
A reading from the second letter of Paul to the Corinthians. From Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus, by the will of God, and from Timothy, our brother, to the church of God that is in Corinth, including all the saints throughout Achaia, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and the God of all consolation, who consoles us in all our affliction, so that we may be able to console those who are in any affliction with the consolation with which we ourselves are consoled by God. For just as the sufferings of Christ are abundant for us, so also our consolation is abundance through Christ. If we are being afflicted, it is for your consolation and salvation. If we are being consoled, it is for your consolation, which you experience when you patiently endure the same suffering that we are also suffering. Our hope for you is unshaken, for we know that as you share in our sufferings, so also you share in our consolation. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response to Psalm 34, taste and see that the Lord is good. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul makes its boast in the Lord. Let the humble hear and be glad. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he answered me, and delivered me from all my fears. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Look to him and be radiant, so your faces shall never be ashamed. The poor one called, and the Lord heard, and saved that person from every trouble. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the one who takes refuge in him. Taste and see that the Lord is good.
with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain. And after he sat down, his disciples came to him. Then he began to speak and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. And blessed are you when people revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven. For in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In today's first reading, Paul declares to the Corinthians that in the midst of suffering and sorrows, the God of consolation is always present to us and with us. God consoles us in our sorrows so that we can be a consoling presence in, to others in their sorrows. Often I've found that people who have gone through tragic times themselves can help others in their tragedy and can often better accompany them in their grief. We all go through our own suffering and sorrow at different times in our lives, and if we allow God to touch our lives in these moments with his consoling and strengthening presence, then we will be empowered to support others as they go through their own valley darkness. Paul knew great hardship and suffering, but he experienced the Lord's strengthening and consoling presence in the midst of all. That is why he could be such a source of encouragement himself to his churches when they were struggling and being persecuted. The Gospel reading this morning is one of the most familiar texts in the Gospels, the Beatitudes, and Jesus declares blessed those who live according to certain values and attitudes. The Beatitudes are said to be the blueprint of the Christian life. And the poor in spirit are those who are aware of their own lack of resources and they know they need God for every breath they take. The gentle are the unselfish ones, those who will bring kindness to others. Those who mourn are those who are disturbed by the present state of the world and long for its freedom from poverty and violence and disease. Those who hunger and thirst for what is right are people who have a longing for the justice that God desires for all people, and they actively pursue it. The merciful are those who bring God's merciful love to the broken people in the world, to those broken in body, mind, and spirit. The pure in heart are those who to are totally dedicated to God and God's cause. They are single-minded in their pursuit of what God wants for the world. The peacemakers are those who actively work for a peace based on God's justice. Having declared all of the above categories of people blessed, Jesus concluded by declaring, blessed are those who are prepared to suffer persecution in the pursuit of what is right, of what God desires for his world. So Jesus lived the Beatitudes in his whole lifetime. If the Beatitudes are Jesus' own self-portrait, they are also a portrait of what his disciples should be, like we should be. May we strive each day to live to Beatitudes and to be good examples to others so that they become disciples of Jesus as well and become living witnesses of his justice, mercy, and love and peace in our world. Our prayers of intercession today. Let us pray for Holy Father, Pope Francis, and Archbishop Peter, and all church leaders that they may courageously continue to proclaim the gospel of Jesus to all nations, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the church community, that we may become the body of Christ for others, especially for the poor and suffering of our world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. We pray for, continue to pray for healing for those indigenous peoples impacted by residential schools, we pray to the Lord. We pray for the gift of forgiveness and mercy in our lives that we may work to bring peace and healing to all of our relationships. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the sick recommended to our prayers, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
for those who have died, and we offer up this Mass especially from, for Ben Whiffen, the husband of Teresa Whiffen, one of our uh, workers over here at the uh, Pastoral Center. She's the human resources person, so her husband died this weekend, so we pray for Ben Whiffen today. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For your own intentions in the quiet of your hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And God, our Heavenly Father, we thank you for all the graces and blessings you give us every day. And we always make our prayer in the name of Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness you have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humble himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness you have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine work of human hands it will become our spiritual drink wash away our iniquity O Lord cleanse us of our sin Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Let us pray. Look, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings we make to your majesty, that whatever is done by us in your service may be directed above all to your glory, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for in goodness you created us. In mercy you redeemed us through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty. Dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voice, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Peter, our Bishop, the clergy, and all your people. Remember your servant, Ben, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember all of our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. John the Baptist, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs with them to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And we share the peace of Christ now with one another. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. 
Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am not, not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter under my life. roof, but only Thank say the word and my soul shall be healed. An act of spiritual communion, a prayer for those who are unable to receive Holy Communion at this time. My Jesus, I believe you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you, for you are already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. To ensure that the reception of Holy Communion takes place in a safe and respectful manner, we ask that you please follow these instructions. Instead of individually replying Amen upon receiving the host, there will be one general attestation of Amen before distribution begins. Please remain standing in your pew until invited forward by an usher. Ensure your face mask is correctly worn before coming forward and maintain a two meter social distance in the communion line. As you approach the front of the line, sanitize your hands before receiving Holy Communion. Bow towards the host. In silence, receive the host in your hands. Step aside to consume the host. Return to your pew as directed by ushers. Those unable to receive Holy Communion in the hand may come forward to receive a blessing. Uh, the body of Christ. Amen. Our communion chant 6.4 in celebrate in song, let us be bread.
Let us pray. May your sacraments, O Lord, we pray, perfect in us what lies within them, that what we now celebrate in signs we may one day possess in truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. A prayer to Mary for help and protection during the pandemic. O Mary, you always shine in our path as a sign of salvation and of hope. We entrust ourselves to you, health of the sick, who at the cross took part in Jesus' pain, keeping our faith firm. You, salvation of your people, know what we need, and we are sure you will provide, so that is in Cana of Galilee, we return to joy and to feasting after this time of trial. Help us, Mother of Divine Love, to conform to the will of the Father, and to do as we are told by Jesus, who has taken upon himself our sufferings, and carried our sorrows to lead us through the cross to the joy of the resurrection. Under your protection we seek refuge, Holy Mother of God. Do not disdain the entreaties of we who are in trial, but deliver us from every danger or glory, some blessed Virgin. Amen. Just an announcement uh, that there will be no exposition in today, uh, just for today until we get, uh, we have a change in, in our cleaners here, so uh, today there will be no exposition today. Uh, we'll work on next week and see what's going on with that, but uh, for just for today, for the rest of the week is fine, but uh, none today. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of us, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace, glorifying the Lord by our lives. Thanks be to God. Our missioning chant, number 471 in our CBW, Blessed are the pure in heart. <clears throat> Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see our God, the secret of 